defensively, uh, bring a lot of guys back, have some good additions. Um, they play tough, they play physical. It's kind of been their brand for dozen years now. So um, expect that uh, that type of uh, mentality coming in this weekend. Last year, they ran the ball quite a bit. Um, time of possession is going to be very important. Talk about what you have planned for that. Um, really, I just want to see our guys uh, have fun playing out there. Um, I want to execute our offense and just do what we do, not worry about all that. Um, sometimes you got to worry about that at the half and the game. But um, right now, we're going to play our brand. Uh, uh, see like I'm excited to see it. The death chart for the offensive line came out yesterday. How do you feel about that group, and do you feel that you're deeper than last season? Um, yeah, more experienced, uh, more confident, which is, I think, the most important thing. Um, our guys are ready to rock. Uh, you know, Sam Lange, uh, you know, really stepping up and being able to, you know, play multiple positions is huge. JT having the experience from last year is huge, plus the, uh, the five guys that we got starting. You know, JD has been able to swing out to tackle and guard. So these guys, uh, you know, Peyton's been, you know, the rock. He's been there for every, every snap last year. So, um, and Baker's healthy. So this is uh, great. And then Alex and Jordan's out there kind of anchoring the thing on the left. And then you have Borjan on the right side uh, yeah. as the backup there. How has he progressed during training camp? Uh, he's done great. Uh, you know, he was a kid that came in, um, came in in the spring. Um, a little bit out of shape, but uh, he's done great. You know, he's out there winning sprints the other day, so I um, feel like he's uh, he's ready to compete if we need to. And then going on with the depth chart, the backup quarterback position, you have Noah, you also have Jordan McLeod, but you guys have an or there. Is that just game-to-game -game scenario? I think or? so. Um, yeah, we're really just relying on Jaden, and we'll see how it goes from there, but I mean, both those guys are ready to go in. Um, they're both fantastic and better, so we're excited about uh, the whole quarterback, or whole quarterback group. So the thing that we were really fortunate to have is I think we had 10 or 12 guys come in mid-year on offense. Um, you know, getting those 15 practices in, a spring game, all the meeting time, those guys, have, they feel like they've been here a long time. Like I was at uh, Big Joan in the office and realized this is his first game coming here. He's been here for nine months. We've been around for so long. He's been part of our program. So these guys all feel like they're in the game. They don't feel like they're new guys. Um, so... We're excited to see what they got. How excited are you to see Jaden Delara finally suit up in a real game for the University of Arizona? Uh, really excited. I know he's excited too. Um, he's been a great competitor. Obviously, you know, he got voted captain. That's for a reason. He's a uh, you know, guy believe in him. So. Uh, Really excited to see him uh, do his thing. He'll be, uh, hopefully, he'll be a ton of fun. How confident is everybody that, 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 that he's ready to go with U of A's system? You know, obviously, yeah, I'd here. say full confidence. We're ready to ready to move forward with him um, at the helm. Um, and we're even more confident having, you know, the guys behind him, too. You know, Jordan McLeod having a full year behind him. Um, better player. Uh, you know, Noah Fafita, um, who was here in spring like the other young guys. He's a really good player. He can he can play ball for us. We can play winning football with, uh, with a bunch of our guys, so we're excited about it. Tight end position, you had three guys listed as the starter. I'm sure you guys are going to use them all throughout yes. the game. Uh, just talk about the depth there. In yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a really fun position. Um, you know, Alex Lyons is coming back as the sophomore veteran. Um, but uh, he played a bunch of ball for us last year. He's going to play a bunch for us uh, this game, and, you know, going forward. Um, uh, Obviously, Kean Burnett was the uh, was the highly touted recruit, um, and he's done great this uh, this spring and this fall. Um, he'll be on the field a bunch too, and then Tanner McLaughlin, you'll, you'll see him. He's a transfer kid, um, really solid ball player, um, gets the game, and he's still just developing. He's a young guy too, so um, really like that position, and uh, they'll, they'll all get uh, time on the field Saturday. A couple of play calling questions. Sure. How exactly does it work with you being the offensive coordinator, Jimmy Doherty, the passing game coordinator, mm -hmm. and then Jed calling the plays? How do you guys? work together to come up with a game plan and call the game? Well, it's, you know, we're having great familiarity with each other. We've known each other for a long time. And Jimmy, you know, have been with him this past year. We really work in concert during the week to make sure um, we all feel great about the game plan. Um, we just had a, a big meeting today to kind of finalize a lot of the things. Um, what we expect to see on Saturday, and then you know, as the rhythm goes, we kind of we kind of know what to expect, um, play calling wise. So um, it's a uh, it's I think it's a really good deal that we all know each other real well, and we have all great relationships. And you know, we have Coach Power um, with his expertise, and Coach Cummings, uh, and Coach Scotty Graham, those guys all are all involved in the process too. And I think 
it, it's going to speak uh, the volumes that we, uh, that we don't talk about. Let me follow up with something. Jed mentioned yesterday that in this this year, he's going to be able to call plays that fit the scheme to the skill sets of the players. Talk about how you're going to set up DeLore and some of these other players to have success with what they do well on the field. Yeah, I, I think having the, you know, being able to have the continuity at the position really helps. Um, you know, having uh, Jaden be the guy who's you know, going to be out there calling some of this. Um, you know, really get to focus on, on what he does well and what we do well. So um, we're excited for the, uh, for the format of this thing. Um, we think that uh, it's a great matchup, great opportunity, and we really feel like uh, we've got a chance to put a best before. The running back room has changed so much from last year. Um, how do you go about in your preparation making sure guys are getting yeah. their touches and, you know, plenty yeah, of them? Uh, we went through a little bit of that today. Um, there's a lot of talent back there, so, you know, I'm sure we'll see more than one guy getting the ball out there. So um, they've all, they all can kind of do just about everything. So we don't really feel like we're limited with uh, player X in the game or player Z or Y. It doesn't matter. They're all able to kind of do just about everything. So with the, you know, the little skill sets here and there. But I'm uh, really excited about the whole year. Looking at the film with San Diego State, how much have they changed, if at all, from last season in terms um, of their schematics? Really, schematically, probably not very much. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they they really believe in their system and they run it really well. Um, they should have confidence um, in, in their situation going in. Um, they've added a couple players. They've, it's a family affair over there. They got a couple of brothers that have uh, transferred in, which is uh, I'm sure that'll get them all fired up to you know play our family. But we're really excited to go against this group. So, um, can't wait for it. What makes them so tough defensively in that 3 3 5 set? Um, well, there's just a lot of movement. Um, they do a really good job of uh, you know keeping guys from getting double teamed. Um, they want to they keep guys one-on-one -on -one or you know, try to get guys free. Um, and if you let them do that, they'll play pretty good. But so that's, you got to uh, keep handling that.